This video is brought to you by mybeteaching.com. Hello friends. Today we will discuss about the comparing quantities. In this chapter, we will discuss about the equivalent ratio. Then we will discuss about the percentage, another way of comparing quantities. In this module, we will talk about the meaning of the percentage converting fractional number to the percentage converting decimal to percentage then we will discuss about the converting percentage to fraction or a decimal then there is another fun with estimation and then we will discuss about some practical problems on union then we will talk about the use of percentage and price related to an item for buying and selling charge given on the borrowed money or a simple interest now let us discuss about what is the meaning of the comparing quantity in our daily life there are many occasion when we compare two quantities like this there is a Hina and Amir. Now we can compare their height. How we can compare their height? Hina is the Hina height is twice two times taller than the Amir height. Or we can say that Amir height. It is half of Hina height. So, in this, from this diagram, you can see that we can compare two types. One is Hina is two times taller than Amir, or we can say Amir height is half times of a Hina height. Now if we say there is a another uh, example how we can compare the quantity a, this is she is a Rita and now Amit he is a Amit we can say that if you see the marbles on Amit plate and you can see the marbles on the Rita plate. So we can say Rita has 3 by 2 times the marble that Amit or we can say Amit as 2 by 3 part of what Rita has so there is a way of comparing the quantities now I can take a one more example this is a cheetah you can see and then man or boy speed is 120 km per hour and speed of the man or boy is 20 km per hour so we can compare that this cheetah cheetah speed is six times greater than boy speed how we can say six times see if we, we can multiply by six it automatically comes 120 so this means six times because we multiply by six also there is a one important thing to remember this that the unit 
of the this is kilometer per hour in the unit of the speed okay so when we compare with the any two quantity the unit should be the same here if you see the unit is centimeter here is unit is centimeter so we can compare both the items and then we can see that either it's a two times or half times if any of the if we compare two quantities any of them is a different uh, unit then first of all we equal uh, if we try to make it same unit and then we will compare so in the next example you can see that how we can use the unit and how we can compare now see the questions what is the question find the ratio of 3 km and 300 meters first the convert the both the distance in the same unit so we know that 1 km equal to 1000 meter so 3 km how many meters 3000 meter the required ratio is required ratio is 3 km is 300 meter so that means 3000 is to 300 then this 0 this 0 cancel then 3 1 and then it's a 10 so 10 is to 1 there is a so the ratio is 10 is to 1 I'll tell you is another simple example if 3000 uh, 3000 is to 300 we can write like this way the fraction form this 0 0 cancel this 0 0 cancel 3 and then you can divide by this 30 by 3 this 10 so it comes 10 by 1 and we can write like it 10 is to 1 so the our ratio is find the ratio of 3 km to 300 meters 10 is to 1 